All right. Um, so in the problem for division, there's a couple different ways we could work this problem. All right. Um, I always prefer to simplify my radical as much as possible. All right. So by simplifying my radical, I want to see, well, what is the largest square number that goes into 60? The, our largest square number they have would be 64, obviously doesn't do it. 49, nope. 36, nope. 25, nope. Uh, 16, nope. 9, nope. 4, yes. So I can rewrite this as um, 60 as uh, square root of 4 times 15. Would everybody agree with me? So therefore, I can reduce that to 2 square root of 15 over square root of 3. Now, what I told you guys is when we're dealing with multiplication and division, we can divide our radicands into the other. So square root of 15 divided by square root of 3 would be 2 square root of 15 divided by 3 would be 2 square root of 5. All right. The other way, ladies and gentlemen, you could look at this is the square root of 60 divided by the square root of 3 is the same thing as the square root of 60 over 3. It's the exact same thing. So what is the square root of 60 over 3? Bank day. Then can I go ahead and simplify this? Yeah, square root of 4 goes in there. How many times is 4 I'm going to 20? It would be 4 times 5, which is 2 square root of 5. <coughs> Anybody have any questions on that? Yeah, what if it was 61 over 3? If it was 61.